Hello guys, Podgaming here. A quick video for you today. We have the new update 1.6 of procedural objects and boy is there a lot of new features that are really going to make this mod even more amazing. So let's have a look shall we? So first up we have the new advanced additional tools. So let's have a look at these in a bit more detail. So first of all as always plop down your procedural objects click on the advanced edition tools, the new tab at the bottom of the general tool. Once you click on this, you'll see a new snazzy new menu with a lot of features that we can now have a play with. First one is position. So this is pretty much the coordinates on the map of where this particular procedure object is. So you can change the numbers on these based on the axis of the X, Y, and Z. And you can actually move it around via the actual number placement rather than dragging around with a mouse. This could be very useful for getting props into very small adjustments. As well as being able to store the height with this new button, you can also snap the item to the ground, which is really, really useful. Something you'll know quite well with the movement mod tool. So this is a great addition to add into PO. Next up is the undo and redo functionality. One thing I know a lot of people have been wanting and it's been a feature that I think has held back a few players. So the addition of this is gonna really change things. Do so by clicking on the icons here or you can use your keyboard in the traditional way. There is now also a mirror model function as well, which allows you to mirror on the axis you pick. So for example, with these staircases, we can now invert a mirror on the X, Y, and Z axis. Now it all depends on how the model itself has been created, whether this function will work well or not. But as you can see here, by clicking on the mirror model X and Z, we can flip the staircase upside down. And if we press the Y function, we can almost make it look like a staircase going upwards. So mess around with it and see what works and what doesn't. The stretch model feature again is a very interesting one. You can change the amount that you're stretching the model and then click on the axis you want to stretch. So here we are going with the X axis at a times two. So we're basically doubling the size each time we click on it. You can do this on the X, Y and Z axis, but also you can go the opposite direction and make the model you're working on really, really small. It's also now possible to change the texture tiling in this functionality. So you can change it on repeat and then change the quantity of how often it repeats and also do so with stretching. It's not possible to do this with all PO items, only the ones that allow texture UV modes. The next big change is the addition to the customizational tool modes. So here we have a new menu that we can open by clicking the right mouse button. And what we can do now is we can highlight all of the vertices and then change what we do with this. So you can see here we are in the position mode at the moment. That's fine, we can move and position things. We can click on rotate and now we can rotate the whole items that we're working on using the mouse and dragging. And there also is another functionality that is scale. So scale we can click on and then drag across up to make it smaller and backwards to make them larger. Scaling was something that was available previously but this is a lot more precise in the way you can do so. The mouse feature makes it a lot easier to control. A new feature also is the flatten feature which allows you to click a few nodes, click on the flatten and basically the nodes will click and flatten to the next point of the axis. So here we can see we have pretty much hid this chimney by clicking on these top nodes and clicking the flatten key. You can obviously be a bit more severe in the way you want to flatten. You can completely remove this triangular roof by clicking flatten here and making it a completely flat one. Mess around and see what is possible. Some models will not look too pretty. Some will work perfectly. Give it a go. Some quirky additions have also been added to the text customizations. You can now go into your text customizations function and add your text as normal. But what you can now do is once you put down your text and put it in position, you can actually rotate the text itself, which is a very useful way if you want to change the look of your signs. Click on this button here, rotate them all the way around. Not only that, but you can now add your own colored rectangle around your signs. Use the same method you would do with your text and drag across to where you want to position and then change the width and height to suit your needs. Here we're going to go with a width of one and make a line. This line, just like the text, can be changed via the RGB functionality to change the colors. You can also change the opacity of this as well. Another additional feature to this is you may have noticed previously that the positional gizmo was sometimes a little bit too small for some of the buildings you wanted to move. You can now change the size of this gizmo. 
in the menu settings and you can now move this around as you can see here it's almost tripled in size which makes life easier for those larger buildings that didn't quite have the gizmo in sight. It's also possible now within the menu to turn on a confirmation delete pop-up once you delete a number of items of PO. So you can choose from one object right up to another number and it's just a good feature to have if you accidentally delete something you've got the option to say no. Personally I'm going to keep the default settings at two or three. Another great addition is previously we didn't know whether an object would be PO-able until you clicked on it. Now as soon as you click on it and you click convert to PO then an option comes up to tell you that it's incompatible. I hope this video has been of some use to you and you can really utilize the new update of 1.6 PO. A huge shout out to Simon the creator of PO, not only for letting me showcase his amazing new update, but for the contribution of this mod and all the new changes. We've certainly looked forward to seeing what is going to be available in the future. Other than that guys, thank you all very much for watching, I hope this has been of interest to you and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and all the best.